Alright, hey guys, it's Cray here, and um, I have another tutorial for you guys that you guys have been asking me to do. And uh, I've been meaning to do this for a long time, but I just kept forgetting and stuff. But yeah, here it is. And this tutorial is on how to make a YouTube pa partner background. And it's how to make the banner and how to uh, make the links for the banners and stuff like that. But um, since this is a new computer, my new Mac, all my other files, I just got rid of them. I didn't want to bring anything, really. I just wanted to bring my programs and... Uh, templates and stuff like that that I had but um so yeah so I don't have any of my other partner backgrounds I've made so I'll just be using my template and if you guys don't have a partner template the link will be in the description so you guys can download that and then you guys can just follow me on this tutorial so you want to open up Photoshop first and this is a template you guys will be receiving and it's a little dark I know so I'm just gonna change the colors on this a bit so you guys can see it better uh, let's put that that color and then like background I guess white alright so here we go and this box right here is basically just gonna be the banner link and the 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 pixel that YouTube will allow you to do the highest pixel is 960 by 150 so you wanna make sure everything you wanna be uh, linked or clickable or image mapped will be inside this box anything that's outside this box uh, it will not be able to receive the code but like let's say you have a Twitter logo and it's like this if you have the link, the image map right here on this side, you can still click it. But if you move your mouse over to this part of the Twitter the logo, it won't be clickable. So that's something you need to keep in mind. So you can have stuff as long as it's in here. In this black box, it will be clickable. Alright, so once you have your design done, obviously you're going to have your cool design or whatever, but this is just a partnered background. It's just a template, so just for tutorial's sake and purposes. So once you have all that, you're going to want to... Uh, hold shift on the top one and click the last one and that will highlight all of your layers and then you just want to duplicate this so drag this there and then hold command and E if you're on a Mac and that would merge it all onto one if you're on Windows it's uh, control and E and it would merge all your layers that are highlighted into one layer so then let's just put a folder so then we could put these these are the original files and this folder are the original files and this is the one that's layered so you can just hide this and uh, obviously this one is going to be on the top and it's going to have all your designs and stuff. And it's, I, don't, I don't see why you would have this black box. You don't need it. You can hide the black box. But this is just so you know what will be in this. Uh, this is just, I guess, so you know what to keep inside and whatever. It's just your borders so you know your borders. But um, yeah, so once you have this, once you've done this, you just want to go to the original files, go to modules, and then go to the banner. Hold command if you're on a Mac, click the banner little picture icon preview thing right here, and that will highlight this. If you're on Windows, hold control and click this image right here, and it will highlight it. So once you have that, you want to click your marquee tool and click the one that's on the top, the layered one that one, the one that's uh, that you merge all your files, all your layers together. Then just right click it and click copy or cut. Copy's fine and then you just want to hide this, hide this and now you have your banner. This should have your design already. It's not going to look black. It's going to have all your design and stuff but like I said this is just for tutorial purposes and then, yeah. So then once you have that you just want to go to file new and then you want to put 960 by 150 width 960 height 150. Click OK and then you can just drag this onto here and just center that and there you go now that's your banner and then you can just uh, unhighlight that and then you have your full background so then you want to save your background before you do all this too I suggest you save your background so you save it as a JPEG or whatever you save it as and then you should have so file save it then I'll just put whatever's put that on my desktop save it but that was a Photoshop file so whatever's and then you want to save this as uh, whatever you want to save it as JPEG PNG whatever it doesn't matter um, just name this banner and then click OK of course you're gonna want to move that all the way high so now you have your banner and your YouTube background separated so then you're gonna have them both right here and now what you want to do is this is the image map and monkeys calling me so cute I love monkey sorry monkey can't talk to you right now <laughs> um, but yeah so 
now you have your banner and your YouTube background separated and now is uh, on how to make the icons clickable so what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to go to the description and click the link and it'll take you to this website right here and it's image it's www.image-maps.com and now what you want to do is just click choose file go to desktop and choose your banner wait for this and click open and then just start mapping your image and um, this is just if you don't have Dreamweaver or any of those programs to uh, image map and stuff but yeah so let's just wait for this to load and continue to the next step and that's your background preview you're gonna have your banner your icons whatever you have right here but mine is just black because um yeah it's just a template right so then what you want to do is click custom shape and then you just click alright so you just go and then like let's say you have a twitter logo right here you just want to go around the twitter logo whatever's and then just put your link so it's going to be www.twitter.com and then just click save and then just click custom shape again if you want to do another one like let's say you have a uh, facebook then you just uh, put the dots around your facebook logo and then you just go to you delete the image map and you put facebook.com and then click save and you have two of them and you can do as much as you want so let's say right here you have um, your blog or whatever and you can just go to you just do the same I don't know what websites are for blogs so you just click blog or whatever then click save and you can just keep doing that whatever's uh, I wouldn't suggest use a rectangle I just use custom shape and they can if you have a really small one doesn't matter on the size as long as it's all in the border but uh, yeah so once you have all this what you want to do is just click get your code this will take a while and then just go to HTML copy this cut and uh, that's the code you're gonna put in uh, your YouTube background banner I'm not partnered so I wouldn't be able to show you guys but if I make partners for I mean if I make uh, partnered backgrounds for people that are partnered I just save it in a in a notepad file the code I paste it and then I send the that file to the person as long along with the background and the banner so they can just copy the code from that notepad file and then put it they'll know what to do with it they just put it in the box on YouTube um, where it says put the banner code or whatever and then everything should be linkable and that's about it something really easy and I'm sorry if I went a little bit too fast but um yeah, I'm kind of in a rush because I'm kind of making a lot of intro intros for people that I've made and stuff. And uh, But yeah, that's basically it. Hopefully you guys like this tutorial. If you guys want to see more tutorials, just uh, post a comment, like this video. And uh, let me know if, what kind of tutorials you guys want to see. Post a comment. Let me know. But um, yeah, this has been Cray. So hopefully you guys like it. And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. Oh yeah, and I got a new mic. Oh, well, I'm using my Trident. I don't know if you guys can tell. Let me know if you guys like this audio quality. But yeah, bye.